right guys, today's topic, we're going to discuss the coordinate plane. We're going to talk about the quadrants. There's four of them, and that's where the word quad comes from. Quad means four. And we're also going to locate points on all four quadrants. Now, I like to start with what you're familiar with. Um, you are familiar with quadrant one, which looks like the picture shown here. Here we have your x-axis. And remember guys, the x-axis is horizontal and it goes side to side. Right over here, we have your y-axis and your y-axis goes up and down. Now something to keep in mind is just like the alphabet, the x comes before y. Think about it. W, x, y, and z. Okay, so I know that some of your teachers probably taught you quadrant one, this part of the coordinate plane, by telling you to run and then jump. So you would run and then jump. That means go side to side and then go up. However, that doesn't apply to us. We're now in sixth grade and we're going to use all four quadrants of the coordinate plane. So to help you remember, please keep in, keep in mind that the X comes before the Y. All right, so let's go ahead and begin by plotting some points and discussing the ordered pairs. Let's start here. I'm going to call this point A. I'm going to call that point B. And C. Okay, let's begin with point A. Remember guys, the X comes first. That means we're going to go side to side. And where do we always begin? We always begin here at 0, 0. Okay, so let's move to point A. To get there, I have to move side to side. Remember, the X comes first. So I'm going to move side to side. I'm going to move to the right. That means I'm going to move two units to the right and it's a positive. And then I'm going to go to my y-axis, which runs up and down. In this case, I'm going to go up three units. So my y is positive three. All right, now guys, integers. Integers are what? Positive and negative whole numbers. Now, I understand that right now you're probably questioning, well, why are we talking about integers? I only see positive numbers here. Well, these are integers. They're positive whole numbers. In a few minutes, we're going to move to positive and negative whole numbers. So it's very important to understand when you move to the right side of the number line, meaning this way, when you move to the right side, you're going to have positive numbers. When you go up, you're going to have positive numbers. What kind of numbers do you think you're going to get when you go down? If you have zero here, what's below zero? You're going to have negative numbers. And if you move to the left, you're going to have negative numbers. So you'll see this in just a moment. But first, let's continue and finish this. Let's locate point B. Point B, remember, X comes before Y, just like the alphabet. So first, I've got to move, get to point B by moving side to side. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the right. So that's positive 5. And then I'm going to go to my y-axis. And remember, y goes up and down. In this case, I'm going to go up 1 unit. So that's also a positive 1. All right, pretty easy. Let's try the next one, point C. To get to point C, I have to first... Sorry, let me get rid of this. To get to point C, I have to first go to the x-axis, which means the horizontal axis, side to side. i got to go to the side, one unit. So my x is 1. My y is over here. Remember, y goes up and down. To get to let point C, I have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. So my y is 6. All right, again, this is just a quick review. Let me go ahead and have you plot some points on your own. Here's a coordinate grid that has four points. I'm going to do the first two with you, and you're going to finish the rest on your own. All right, let's locate point A. 
just like the alphabet, X comes before Y. And X is right over here. Remember, that's the horizontal axis. All right, let's go to A. I'm moving one, two, three, four units to the right. That's a positive number. And then to get to my Y axis, I've got to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units up, which is a positive number. Okay, let's go ahead and get to point B now. X comes before Y. Guys, I'm going to stress on this over and over. X comes before Y. When it comes to a test, they're going to try to switch numbers up for you. And for those of you that mess up, you're going to get it wrong. All right, here's point B. X axis comes first. That means it's side to side. Let's move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to the right. Sorry, that looks pretty bad. Bear with me, guys. Y'all should already know how the starboard writes. Not the best. All right, now let's go to our Y, meaning we're going to move up or down. In this case, we're going to move up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven units up. All right, go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to ask that you finish the next five points, locate them, and write them down on your sheet of paper. As you pause it, I'll go ahead and give you the answers as soon as you play it again. And here are your answers. All right, to get to point C, you have to remember X comes before Y. Let's move side to side. We're going to move all the way, nine units to the right. And then you're going to go up to your Y axis, three units. All right, so it's nine, three. Let's go ahead and review point D. Point D is right over here. X comes before Y. So we're going to move side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units to the right. So that's positive eight. And then we're going to move up two units, positive two. All right, point E is right over here. We're going to move four units to the right, two up. So it's four, two. Let's go to point F, which is right over here. We're going to move one unit to the side. We're going to go up three. So it's one, three. And the last one here is point X. We're going to move five units to the right. And we're going to move three units up. All right. Now that we have the simple stuff out the way, let's go ahead and start sixth grade material. All right, guys, here is the coordinate plane with all four quadrants. Here's quadrant one, two, three, and four. We'll discuss the quadrants in just a moment. First, we're going to learn how to locate points in it. All right, guys, the rules do not change. Remember what I said earlier? X comes before Y. Here you have your X axis, which runs side to side. And here you have your Y axis which runs up and down, okay? So what are we gonna do first, the X or the Y? We're gonna do the X axis first. So let's go ahead and locate point A. All right, point A is right over here, and we gotta do the X axis first. So our point of origin, it starts here at zero, zero. So first I gotta move side to side. I'm gonna to move to the right, one, two units, so that's a positive number. So my X is two. Then I'm gonna go up one, two, three units. Y'all see that? I'm gonna go up three units. So my Y is three. All right, so point A is located at two, three. Super easy. Let's go ahead and locate point B. Rules stay the same, guys. It's not gonna change. X comes before Y. All right, let's locate point B. Here's my point of origin. Um, this time, notice, X comes first as always, but this time I'm gonna move to the left. 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Okay, my x is negative 5. And my y, I got to go up. Here's the y, remember? Y goes up and down. In this case, I'm going to go up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so my y is a positive 4. Pretty good. All right, let's locate point C. Point C, again, rules never ever change. Here's my point of origin. I'm going to move negative 1, 2, 3. So that's negative, oh, I'm sorry. There we go. That's negative 3 for my x-axis because I moved to the left of the number line. Remember, any number to the left of 0 is a negative. And I went up. Let's do, let, let's do x, the y-axis. I moved up 1. So my y-axis is a positive 1. Pretty easy, right? All right, let's finish the rest. Point D. Point of origin is 0. Let's get to point D. We're going to move to the left of the number line. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my x-axis is negative 5. All right. Keep in mind, guys, look at your y-axis. Your y-axis goes up or down. Y'all see it right here? There's my y-axis. To get to point D from where I'm at, I'm going to go down, which means my y-axis is going to be negative. I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4. Y'all see it right here? So my y-axis this time is actually also a negative. It's negative 4. Are y'all with me? All right, let's go ahead and locate point E. Point E, I'm going to move from my point of origin, negative 1, negative 2. Here's my x-axis. So it's negative 2, as you see here. And to get to point E, I'm also, when it comes to my y-axis, here it is, I'm going to have to move down. If I'm moving down, it's a negative. Negative 1, negative 2. So both x and y are negative 2. All right. Point G. This time, to get to point G, if we're talking about the x-axis here, I'm going to move from my point of origin. I'm going to move 1, 2 two units to the right. This time my x is positive. But to get to point G when it comes to the y-axis, remember the y-axis is right here, goes up and down. I have to move down. If I'm moving down it's negative. Okay, so I gotta go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my y-axis is going to be negative 5. Are y'all getting the point? I hope you are. Pretty, pretty easy. As long as you follow the rules, guys, X comes before Y, just like the alphabet. Let's locate our last point. Our last point is F. Okay, to get to F, if you start from your point of origin, you got to move to the right for your X axis. Okay, here's your X axis, and if you're going to move to the right side, you're going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units to the right. It's a positive. And your y-axis, again, runs up and down. In this case, i got to go down to get to point F. i got to go down how many units? Negative 2. So my y is negative 2. Pretty easy, guys. Here's the thing about the video. It is a video. Therefore, you can rewind, fast forward, pause, review it again. It's all up to you. Whatever works for you. Make sure that you do that. Now let's go ahead and talk about the four quadrants now that we learned how to locate points on here. Here are your four quadrants, guys. You have quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. As you see here, if you put them in order, you're going to make or, or form the letter C. Watch this. Quadrant one, two, three, and four. Do y'all see the letter C here? Okay, that is where each quadrant belongs. Now let's talk about a few of the characteristics of each quadrant. If you plot any point on quadrant one, 
Let's, let me give you one for example here. If I plot this point here in quadrant one, notice that your x-axis is going to be positive. So here, I'm going to give you an example. To locate point J, I'm going to move to the right side, meaning it's going to be positive. Okay, so it's positive 4, so my x-axis is, I'm sorry, my x-axis is 4. And if you notice, quadrant 1 is always going to go up for the y-axis, meaning that the y will always be positive. So I will go up how many units? 3. So for quadrant 1, your x will be positive and your y will be positive, okay? For quadrant two, if you locate any point on here, let's locate this one here and call it point W. Notice that you will always, for your x-axis, okay? Notice that you will always move to the left, meaning that your x-axis will always be negative. Let's locate point W. Okay, to get to point W, my x is going to be negative 4, and my y, I'm going to go up 2, so my y will be positive. All right, guys, in other words, any quadrant, I'm sorry, any point located in quadrant 2, your x will always be negative because remember you're moving to the right side so it's going to be negative but your y will always be positive because you're moving up all right let's talk about quadrant three for quadrant three I'll locate a point here and call it point F notice that you will move to the left side meaning your x will be negative and your y, where are we moving for quadrant three? Are we moving up or are we moving down? We're moving down, okay? That means anything in quadrant three, your x will be negative and your y will also be negative. Let's locate point F. Remember guys, just like the alphabet, x comes before y. Your x will be located at negative three sorry about that, and your y is at negative 1. So remember, your x is negative, your y is negative. Last but not least, we have quadrant 4, and quadrant 4 you can locate any point that you like. I'm going to call it point x. Let's talk about our x and our y axis. For quadrant 4, it will be on the positive side of your x axis. So your x will always be positive, but look where, the, where quadrant 4 is located. It's located down on the y-axis. So your y-axis will always be negative. Let's locate point x. x comes before y. All right, so let's move side to side. I'm going to move 4 units to the right. It's positive, but I'm going to go down 2 units which means it's negative 2. So your x will always be positive and your y will always be negative on quadrant 4. Make sure you take note of this guys. Alright, I'm gonna leave this video, I'm gonna leave you with a little picture here and I want you to read it and tell me which one of the girls here based on what is being said which one would be x and which one would be y. Think about it. Go ahead and read it and let me know which girl is X and which one's Y. Here's your answer. She is X and she is Y because X always comes before Y, just like the alphabet. All right, guys, have a great day. Make sure you come into class with any questions that you may have. See you later.